Welcome back, I'm Coach AJ, and today we're gonna to walk you through a practice session for your pitch shots. What should a practice session look like? How long should you be out here? And while you're out here, what should you accomplish? So today for this practice session, there's gonna be three parts. We're gonna have a block practice scenario in the beginning, then we're gonna have a random practice, and then we're gonna have a game. For the block practice, we're gonna get three balls out of your bag. Maybe you've used them a couple times, played a round or two, or maybe they're brand new. But either way, I really don't want you practicing with range balls. So grab your three balls and grab one wedge. For today's scenario, I'm using a 54 degree Vokey. You could be using a lob wedge or a gap wedge, uh, but I've always felt that a sand wedge is a great club to hit pitch shots with. So with the three balls, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to about a 10, 15 yard pitch shot. You're gonna hit three medium height pitch shots, your standard pitch shot. You're gonna collect those, come back to your station. You're gonna hit three low pitch shots, collect those, come back. You're then gonna hit three high pitch shots, grab those, bring them back. And then with your final three balls, you're gonna hit one medium height, one low, and then one high. So you've now hit 12 shots to get warmed up. That was your block practice scenario, so you could get comfortable, you got warmed up. In that time, you felt the mechanics for hitting it low or high. Today, we're not getting into the mechanics of how to hit higher or lower pitch shots. We can cover those things in other videos. Today, it's really just how to practice hitting pitch shots, how to create a practice scenario to improve your pitching. So here you go, let's go hit those pitch shots. All right, to start off this practice session, we're gonna start with our three medium height pitch shots or your standard basic pitch shot. We're gonna collect those, we're gonna go back to the same spot. I'm now gonna hit my three low pitch shots from this distance. I should be landing it pretty close to the fringe. Let's collect those. All right, next up we have the high pitch shot. So we're gonna hit three balls all with a little more loft and they'll be stopping just a little bit quicker due to the fall angle and the additional spin. And then for our final three balls, we're gonna hit one low landing it on the fringe, one medium landing it a couple feet on, and then the last one landing it even close to the flag. Hey, it went in. All right, so we've just hit our 12 pitch shots. We are now ready to work into our random practice. So how are we gonna create a, how are we going to create a random practice for our pitch shots? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three balls and we're gonna to go to 10 different locations around this screen. We're gonna drop all three balls at that location. And from each location, you're gonna choose one flag and hit all three types of shots to that flag. So while you're choosing your 10 locations, I'd love for you to have some balls in the fairway, some in the rough, side hill, uphill, downhill, all different kinds of lies of your 10 different locations, all working to one flag. And for each, again, for each location, you needed a high shot, a low shot, and, a, and your standard medium height shot. Let's go practice. All right, headed to my first station here. We had a medium height pitch shot, a low pitch shot, and then a high pitch shot. Collect those balls and now on to station number two. All right, so we're on low, medium, and high. For the third station here, I went medium, low, and then again finished with a high one. I think you see where we're going with these 10 stations. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of them and let's head into the game. All right, we've now worked our way around the green. We hit from 10 different locations, three balls at each location, and now it is time for the third part of this pitching practice, and that is to turn it into a game. What I want you to do is you have your 10 locations, so we're gonna go back to those 10 locations, and we're gonna play an up and down game. So you have three balls originally, you can throw two back in the bag, and now we're just working with one ball. So we're now gonna hit one ball from these same 10 locations, and you can choose, am I gonna hit the low one, am I gonna hit the medium one, or am I gonna hit the high one? And then wherever the ball finishes on the green, you have to put it all the way out. All right, now to the up and down game. From each location, you just get one shot, one attempt. Uh, if it's close, go ahead and kick it in. If it's a couple feet away, go ahead and line it up and try to finish it. And again, we'll skip through shots four through 10 for you. So in review, we had start with a block practice session, hit three low ones, hit me three medium ones, and three high ones and then finish with one of each. Once you've hit those 12 pitch shots, it's time to get on the move and get out of that block. 
Start working your way around the green. Go to 10 different spots around the green. From each spot, hit three balls. Hit a low one, a medium one, and a high one to a certain flag. Once you've worked your way around the green, go ahead and throw two balls back in the bag, grab just one ball, and go back to those same 10 stations and choose either low, medium, high for each of those stations. But don't stop there. Go ahead and after you hit it onto the green, go ahead and finish it all the way out. So pitch it and then finish it. Good way to test yourself next time you play is keep score. So ideally with these 10 shots, if you get on the green and two putt all of them, that'll be a 30. If you can one putt all of them, that'll be a score of 20. Let's see if we can get our score at 25 or below to show that you'll be getting up and down more than 50% of the time. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if this is your first time with us, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Join our community as we all strive to get better at this game we love.